What is this? Oh my God. This feels terrible. King of Cuffs looks angry. This King of Cuffs showed up in a Patreon reading I just did. He was all lovey-dovey. And now he's giving me like rawr, energy. Like what happened? King of Cups? What's up in Mayhem? Ooh, child. Somebody's going to go into work tomorrow. Ready to um, fuss you the heck out. <laughs> they got you on your radio. They mad at you. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but they mad at you. They really are mad at you. Um, <laughs> they're mad at you because you're so popular and they can't be you. Like, I know we say that. Readers say that all the time. They're, they're, they're scared of your light. I know. It's cliche, but also it's a true thing where when you shine and people are either going to gravitate towards that light or they're scared of it because they feel like it outshines them and they feel like you're outshining them in everything at work. What are you going to do? You going to dim your light? Nope. Not to make them feel comfortable. I know that. I won't allow it. Your spiritual guys and your spiritual collective, they won't allow it. So that person is just going to have to deal with deal with it. Exactly. You're the empress. These same cards came up in the reading I just did. The King of Cups, the Empress, the Four of Swords. I end the reading with the Three of Wands and I decided to start a new video because this was a separate, it was picking up separate energy from that reading. But these three were in that reading. If it's late at night and you're watching this, after you watch this video, go to sleep because I'm being told to tell you to go to bed. <laughs> well, outside of that, your body needs rest. Your body is in a lot of pain right now. I'm not a doctor. I'm just reading the energy. This is a collective reading. Take it as you may. And you need to take time to yourself to recharge and rejuvenate. So if you're the type of person who does a lot of um, something online, then you need to, um, at first I was going to say stretch, like get up, move your body, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like you need to take us, um, gosh. The things I want to say, it doesn't click. I was going to say, take a social media break. And they were like, no. I was going to say, work out more. They're like, mm. it's more like, um, your body is stressed out. And whatever you're doing online is stressing out your body. So they're not saying stop doing what you're doing. It's about redirecting your energy. So it's not like take a social media break. It's more like um, it's it's not just online. If um, well, yeah, it's online. I was gonna say if you it's it's job related and it's online related. So if you're a content creator, because that's what those two 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 combinations mean to me but maybe you're a software engineer as well or a um yeah maybe you're a software engineer but you're working too hard software engineer or a content creator you're working way too hard and your body is exhausted and you're ignoring this you're very lonely. You're stuck on your high horse about something. Like, I'm right, you're wrong. I'm big, you're small. Like, you really think, like, um, the person you're trying to smoke out 
is going to cave and they're not. They're not. I'm telling you they're not. And you're only hurting yourself in this situation. Because what you don't see is that person is actually correct. It's a friends group situation. That person is actually correct and you don't see it. You can't see it because if that person is correct about this friend situation, it unravels everything that you've um, painted in your mind this whole time. Such a battle going on inside of you. I want to call you the King of Cups. Like it's um, it's feeling like masculine energy is what I'm trying to say. But there's a um, there's a battle going on inside of you. I just heard like no one wants to play with me. Like you really feel lonely and left out. I'm so sorry, King of Cups, that you feel that way. It's not true. You've been doing a great job pushing people away. Because it fits your narrative of um, you're the bad guy. What's interesting is I just did a Patreon reading and it feels like this reading I'm doing now is for the, the reverse person that I was talking to about. So in the Patreon reading i was talking to the viewer about their person i feel like you're the person <laughs> that i'm talking to now if you get that I don't, I don't i hope i explain that directly like i feel but like you if I, if i was doing a reading for anna and anna was asking about jimmy i feel like i'm now doing a reading for jimmy about not just anna but like everything else that's going on in jimmy's life I hope that makes sense now. And you, Jimmy, are going through a lot of things in your life. Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles showed up in that reading as well. It's a lot of masculine energy on this table. Even the Empress is given off masculine energy, like very strong, dominant energy right now. Stubborn energy, egotistical energy. You're not an egotistical person. I I'm, I'm, I'm want you to know that before you click off, like, what? <laughs> you're not. You're not an egotistical person, but you are, um, you're very stuck on this, I'm um, right. And it's for survival. You cannot be wrong about this. Like you're telling yourself, I cannot be wrong about this. Because if I'm wrong about this, I'm wrong about everything. Like whatever this truth is, unravels the whole tapestry of what you designed over the last few years. Information is going to be coming through to you that will lighten your load. And also make this information more palatable to you to take in. Like a spoonful of sugar will help this medicine go down. And it will go down. I just heard down in the DMs. There's going to be an online conversation. Again, going back to online software engineer, content creator. There's going to be an online conversation that you either have or will have that is gonna make you see someone differently and that's where the ravel is gonna start to take place and that's when you went that's when you're gonna go oh so this whole time I thought it was this person when really it was um, 
it wasn't like you maybe there was some kind of some situation in the friends group and everybody was ganging up on Jill and it turns out it wasn't Jill at all it was Rachel <laughs> it was Rachel and everybody I'm hearing Jill go, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. And Rachel just smirking in the background, playing innocent. But Rachel slips up and says something. And whatever she says or he says, it's going to make, it's going to enlighten you and make you see things differently. And it's like in that moment, when the prism changes and you see um, this person, this other person, it, can, it might not be a friend. It could be a family member or whatever, right? Whatever the relationship is. But it's a group setting situation. You're gonna Once you see this person, once the mask slips, even though they're going to put the mask back on very quickly, it's too late. You already saw the demon hiding behind this mask. And you may question yourself, like, did I just hear or did I just see what I just saw or just heard? But it's enough for you to start to question other aspects of this person. I'm, call I'm just saying Rachel, but I don't know who this person is to you. I don't know if it's a friend or a family member, but it's someone close to you. And... It's in that moment when things starts to unravel. It's crazy how this King of Cups, I swear, feel, it feels like he's looking upwards. <laughs> Can you see that? It, it's like he's looking upwards at this card. Like, hmm? <laughs> but... This group of people is important, are important to you. They're very important to you. But somebody is a snake. And it's not who you think it is. I'm telling you. If you thought it was this person that was the problem. The whole time it was somebody else. Software engineer or content creator. The person who works online. Um, he's. I don't know. Take a vacation. Take a sick day. Something. I feel so... I tight this in my chest. You need time off. You need to relax. It's... Oh, my gosh. I'm not a doctor. I know. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I need to say that. Because I really am not a doctor. But also, it, re but it really feels like the situation is getting perilous. Like, like high blood pressure. And your pressure's going up and it's affecting your body. It's destroying every your organs in your body. Like it's is uh, please take a break. Take your meds. Go to the doctor. Do what you need to do. Number twelve or eighteen might be important to you. It might be relevant in some way, shape, or form. Word of number three or twelve. I mean, I already said twelve. Or eight. <laughs> Or um, nine as well. Or you can play those numbers if you're looking for a lot of numbers. Seven of Swords. Someone stole your heart. Someone that you've been trying, you've been like working um, back towards. Really? That makes sense. Do you draw this person? Or have you ever drawn this person or try to anyway? Or have you got readings about this person, tarot readings or um, psychic downloads? You might have dreams about this person as well. You think about them at work a lot. You think about this person so much. 
Wow. And it feels like this person is spiritual. And you try to figure them out through their spirituality. For example, if they're a tarot reader and you're trying to figure out tarot. Because that person is into tarot. And you're like, what is this whole tarot thing? Like, you, you know, like you're trying to figure that out. You're studying them. You study their interests, their likes, the things, what makes them click. You also watch them online. <sighs> you yourself gets um, are is psychic, kind of. Like you're not aware of your. I'm sorry, hitting the um the tripod. You yourself are not aware of your talents, your psychic talents. You actually deny them. I just heard um, Jen, Jeannie, like um, you're like a spiritual descendant from a genie. I bet you you manifest very well. You make the impossible happen. This is a dragon. You have very strong energy as well. Someone stole the keys to your heart. This person is very good um, <laughs> in the bedroom. I'm seeing I'm seeing this car do naughty things to this sword. That of and it's like I'm hearing what that mouth do though. <laughs> yeah. What that mouth do though? Um, but you're not talking to this person that you're uh, you're into. Why is that? Is this the same person from before I was just talking about? What was what was the name? Jill. Is this Jill? And if you're into guys, then John, you know, I'm just, I just gave that person a name, um, more so than it being the actual gender. Oh, this turned interesting. <gasps> oh, well, look at you falling in love with the enemy. So if Jill is the enemy of the group, but you're actually in love with Jill, <laughs> but you tell yourself, I can't be in love with Jill or John. But you are, you are, they stole your heart. You don't even know what happened. That's part of the thing you talk, you think about, like, like, you don't, you, you see how I'm like <laughs> lost for words? That's how you feel. Like, like, you're not, you're not sure. Like, you don't know. You push this person away from you though. So you care for them, but you push them away. Make that make sense. And I just heard you lied about something. You lied about how you felt? You're, excuse me. You're too old to be playing these games that you're playing. Especially when it's really you that's getting hurt more than so to anyone else. Because guess what? It feels like Jill will be okay. <laughs> like Jill will find her person. And you know that. You know that. And that's what's keeping you up at night. That's what you're stressing about. 
and you want them to be happy you want them to be with somebody else and because you feel like you cannot make them happy not realizing you are exactly the person who will make them happy i said that exact same thing in that patreon reading i'm telling you it feels like it's a reverse reversal of who i'm talking to ten of swords again you are punishing yourself That six of wands is interesting. You don't want to be seen in public with what? Something about being seen in public with somebody. Or making something official with somebody. You don't want to be made a fool. In public. Oh. Oh. Why didn't you just say so? We're going all. You were doing this whole song and dance. But when it comes down to it, you care for this person, but you're scared to commit to this person. Because you don't want to be made a fool of. Like you don't want your heart to get broken. So you push this person away to protect your heart. Because you, you're you fully aware how much you care for them. And you're so, because of that, you're concerned that they're going to at some point leave you. Because everybody leaves you. So you you tell all these stories about, oh, it's because... They lie. It's because um, nobody likes them. And it must be for a reason that nobody likes them. Or it's because um, that group situation I was talking about where nobody likes, like everybody gangs up on Jill. And so it's like, it makes things easier for you. But meanwhile, you're in love with Jill or John. Again, switch the genders around. Like you, you, you use all these instances and you, you gaslight yourself, you gaslight the person, you, you lie, you, you do all these things to conceal how you truly feel because at the end of the day, you have abandonment issues and you don't want to be made a fool of in public. So it's far better for you to have feelings for this person in private. And it's far better for you to hook up with this person in private. Because I see that. <laughs> you don't have a problem with that. But <laughs> still in those little moments. The, um, the side relationship moments. Situationship moments. And you don't want to make this official. Because you're afraid to you make a fool. Okay. Bottom deck emperor and in the other reading I was talking about that was on Patreon. It was the Empress. I'm telling you, this first off is it's mirroring which be uh oh, is this a twin flame situation? Uh, <laughs> twin flames are so difficult to read. So I think this is a twin flame situation for some of you watching this. Hmm. I just heard that um, you are not alone. You're very afraid of being alone. You are not alone. I'm becoming a better person. This is messages from your person, by the way. And from you as well. I'm becoming a better person. You and I were too young. Young and dumb. I just heard. I am starting to understand our connection. Oh, you miss them now, right? They miss you too. I'm so attracted to you. 
I remember every detail that day. I bet you do. Because <laughs> the physical is not an issue with you guys at all. If you connected with them physically, that is not the problem. I am not available. Ooh. <laughs> they move fast. <laughs> You drop them and they're like, okay, next. Damn, it's cold blooded. <laughs> Finding out the truth crushed me. Mm. You lied about how you felt and it crushed them. And they're covering it up by moving on. They have a back person. They have a person in the back pocket, like at all times. <laughs> I just see them like pulling out a back person, a back person out of their pocket. Like they got a roster. If they so, if they're ready to to go, we need to let each other go. Yeah, you did a very good job um, convincing this person that they don't care for you. And so now they moved on. But because I'm here for you, let's see what the future energy is for this situation. I'm hoping there's some kind of reconciliation in store for you. Or maybe um, a new relationship. But let's find out. But you did a very good job. Whatever your attention was, like, leave me alone or, like, trying to convince them. Like, you know, okay, so, you know, the, uh, the, those movies where they're trying, the little kid is, like, trying to get rid of the dog. Even though they, they love the dog, they're like, no. And they're throwing the rocks at the dog. No, run away. You gotta get out of here. Like, um, when Arya was trying to get rid of her, her wolf. And gave the throne and she was like get out of here and she was doing it to protect her because she knew if the wolf stayed the dire wolf if the dire wolf stayed then they would kill her so she was like try acting like she didn't want the dire wolf anymore like get out of here i don't want you and, it, and she kept throwing things at it the dog the dire wolf until the dire wolf left she did a good job in getting rid of the dire wolf You did a good job as well. You were concerned about how this person, like you hurting this person, yeah, or getting this person getting hurt. This person being hurt for some reason. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm not really seeing the connection between you and how and them um, and this person getting hurt. Like I don't see the equation. But you made the equation somehow. That crackling noise you hear is the candle. It's, um, it's a wooden wick. So you might hear like... Eh, eh. <laughs> it's the candle. I don't see the connection. You made up a connection between them getting hurt and being around you. It's not there at all or maybe you feel like um that was my stomach <laughs> sorry <laughs> or maybe you feel like they're um you being around them hurts you because they're um you actually push away one of very few people in your lives that will always have your back unconditionally Final deck. Mm -hmm. 
There's a voidness in your heart that I'm tapping into right now. It's, it feels empty. Um, you do a good job pushing people away from you and then making it seem like they're the ones leaving you. Sadness and heartache there. People who have abandonment issues have a tendency to preempt the abandonment before it could happen because then it's, it's not you left me, it's I left you. In your case, you, you make it seem like that person um, left you when really you left them. Or you do things that will trigger them leaving you. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry that you do that. Like, I don't mean it like that. Like, I'm sorry that it. I'm, what I'm what I'm sorry about is the situations that led up to you doing that in a defensive, as a defensive mechanism, because you've gone through a lot. You went through a lot to get to this point where you're concerned about who you let into your life and assuming that that person would leave. Because also, it feels like if there's no anchor, you're just, okay. So, okay. So, um, I just saw, like, kids in a family. So, like, you're like, okay. So, my mate, my baby daddy would never leave me because of the kids like they have that anchor there my parents will never leave me because they're my parents <laughs> you know that's dna but if there's no concrete anchor where somebody will have to stay in your life as like like something that you can actually see like maybe um they owe you money, you owe them money, or, or, I don't know, like, something, something where you have, like, like, joint custody, I just heard joint custody, or some kind of anchor hold. If there's none in place, you assume that person will eventually leave you, and that scares the crap out of you, because this person... There's no anchor hold at all. And so you're like, there's no reason for them to be... You try to set up several. <laughs> I just saw like chess moves. You play chess. I just saw chess moves. And you were, you've you tried several times to... Um, hold on, I just dropped cards. You try several times to get this person anchored into your life in some way, shape, or form. And it just doesn't stick. Because that person is is free. It's a free person. Like even if there was anchors, they'll still operate in a in a free state. And because of that, because they just don't they don't anchor themselves to they're not anchored to you and you have to believe what they say without any physical or back history tied to it like if they say they they will never leave you it's hard for you to believe that if they say they need you it's hard for you to believe that because they don't really need you you know, you're not paying their bills or you're you're not um, the parent of their children. You're not related. You're not, you know, so it's like you're not their boss or anything like that where they need you. Apparently to you, like there's no there's no apparent string to that. And because you don't have that, there's that security. It scares the crap out of you. So when they say, I need you, or I want you, or I love you, 
you don't believe it and you push it away because you don't believe that you deserve the kind of love that they're trying to give you. I put this up on my Patreon reading video. I did. I feel like I'm talking to the other person in that situation. Like I, I dress, and even in that reading, I was saying, I kept saying the word you. I'm talking to you. Like I kept saying that in that reading. And now I feel I'm talking to the other person in that situation crazy readiness introvert protests I just heard all your mark get set go huh. you prepare to do something or go somewhere I'm hearing that song tear it up my heart Hold on. this is the part that can, that kind of resonates like to this reading the most I tear it up my heart when I'm with you, but when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter what I do, I feel the pain with or without you. So it's like when I'm with you, it hurts. When I'm not with you, it hurts even more. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I can't take this anymore. It's tearing me apart. But then also in the beginning of the song, the first thing that I said was, um, what was it? Why can't we be lovers? So it's like, Baby, I don't understand just why we can't be lovers. Things are getting out of hand, trying too much, but baby, we can win. Let it go. If you want me, girl, let me know. I am down on my knees. I can't take it anymore. So it's... it's Okay, so it's like sync is telling the girl it's in your hands about what uh, our situation but at the same time, they're also saying, when I'm with you, it hurts. When I'm not with you, it hurts. It tears me apart when I'm with you, but when we are apart, it, it, it kills me too. Like, what kind of mixed message is that? <laughs> I love this song, but when you dig into the lyrics, you're like, what? <laughs> Alright. A compromise will be made. Because it has to be because um, you you need to be with this person and they need to be with you. The separation is driving you guys crazy. You think about each other. You watch each other online. You, uh, well, it feels like you watch them online. It also feels like you fantasize about them. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Look at this card. The strategy, I told you. It feels like you play playing chess move. Don't play games with this person. You will lose. You will lose that person. It's far better for you to be upfront with your emotions. Even if that emotion is, I deeply care about you, but I cannot be with you at this time. It's far better for you to say that than whatever it is that you're planning <laughs> because you are going to get hurt far more than the other person is going to get hurt because it really does feel like you care about this person a whole lot. Far more than you are ready to admit. I was going to say far more than you know, but you know. You're just not ready to admit it. You might have to. And we're going back to that group situation. I think I really do think, ooh, they do not like each other. <laughs> and you're stuck in the middle. I really do feel like something's going to unravel where you are going to be like, yeah, you see how he's like, wait a second. Like, I really do feel someone's going to say something. And the person you thought, like, you see how he's like kind of, holding her back from from her and she he's holding her her hand 
I really feel like you're 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 gonna be looking at the other person in a different way. And you're gonna realize Jill was right the whole time. Like it's a confused look. Like you're like like what? So first off, you you you're gonna see this mask fall off. And that's going to expose a lot because you're like, this person who I thought was one way, I thought this person was cool and I thought she was tripping or he was tripping, when re in reality, they weren't. Or maybe they might not be completely right, but they were definitely not completely wrong either. And it's you're going to have this, oh my God, look on your face. Like something's going to click. Definitely, definitely gonna unravel. Anyway, I'm gonna end this reading here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.